All right, what's up YouTube? David from Pandaily over here. So as you guys all know, OnePlus is gonna launch their OnePlus 6T in New York on October 29th. So what we did was we went to their headquarters down in Shenzhen to give you guys an inside scoop on the team behind the flagship device. You ready? Let's go check out their story. When we arrived at the OnePlus headquarters in mid-October, the team was already hard at work and having rehearsals every day. Pete Lau, OnePlus CEO, this is Pete's first time on stage in the United States and his first time making a speech in English. Ever since OnePlus was founded, they had their eyes on the global market. This year, they've established a cooperation with T-Mobile to sell the OnePlus 6T. So this is the first time a high-end Chinese smartphone brand has cooperated with an American telecom services provider. This is for each other, it's a big change. Because we've been in the United States for four years, from now to now. It's just that we've been in the internet, and we've been in the internet, and we've been in the internet, and we've been in the internet. But the market is still a big market. This change is very difficult to change. But I think it's a very good time now. As I said, I've been saying this for four years with the internet. 我们已经积累了四年，我觉得时机成熟了，所以这是一个天时地利人和的一个选择。And it's precisely this endless pursuit for refinement that brought us the first generation OnePlus One. The biggest addition this time with the OnePlus 6T is its in-display fingerprint sensor. 其实屏下指纹 FOD 我们是很早，去年就就，但是当时我看了这这个体验不是太好，但这个一年我们一直是在做，就没有放弃。到今天，我觉得这个现目前的这个解决方案，我们认为是已经是达到了一个可以满足用户的这个呃需求。毕竟这个指纹在前面，我们觉得很还是很方便，体验很好，设计也会更简洁。Another awesome feature that the OnePlus 6T is bringing is nightscape. 其实我们在之前的机器，我们在白天拍照，口碑都非常好，但是在晚上呢。那个时候我们不是这个领先的，所以我就给团队当时在半年前就给他们定了一个目标，我说你必须要跟我把这个算法搞定。后来差不多真的是花了半年时间去研究这个算法，直到昨天为止，我看到的他们做出这个结果，